Let's have a talk. What's the problem? You just want me to go get the brush and come out here to you. Are you not doing this today? Huh? I come out this morning and feed all the bigs, you know. I come through the field. I call everybody. They're following me. I open the gate. I come through the gate. I park. I get off. I walk over here and pour out all the food. Well, by the time I got all the food poured out, I look up and Moo, Santana, and Pearl all just took off. They, none of them wanted anything to do with any of this food or anything that I was doing over here or to hang out with their other friends. They went straight to the woods. So I think, I think she's about ready. I think she's about ready because I've noticed over the past, I don't know, three or four days, maybe five days, she has been in them woods non-stop. The good thing is she's always going over there to that corner that I went the other day, so I know where they're at. So I have a bucket of feed on the four-wheeler still that I'm going to actually take over there to them if they're in the same spot. If not, I'm going to have to find them and feed them. But yeah, guys, yeah, keep on coming down. There you go. That's the last pile there. Now y'all should have enough piles. Everybody spread out good. This is good. I think the pile spacing is at the right amount now. Everyone's got plenty of space. I think he just stomped because of bugs. I'm going to hope that he's not mad at me. Because I don't think that I've done anything, Bucky's. So today I have a little plan with this girl right here. Dixie. We are spending a lot of time together today. Okay, well, I don't know about a lot of time, but I'm at least going to get you, um, figure out how to put a halter on you. I'm going to lead you up to the barn, put you in there. I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to do that thing where like you, you tie a horse onto the stall there and then I'm going to groom you. Probably going to put some fly spray on you and then I'm going to bring you back. So this is an adventure that I'm really nervous for because, so, okay, let's talk about dramatics. <laughs> let's talk about dramatics for a minute. If I'm around a horse, am I scared? Is that the word that we're going to call it, is scared? Yes and no. I believe the, the right word would be maybe uh, cautious. So whenever I'm, whenever you hear me screaming or whatever, it's dramatics. It is dramatics. Nobody go, no grown man, no grown man, <laughs> a horse walks out on me and he starts going, ah, you know, it just doesn't happen. Oh, here comes, here comes Moo. <laughs> He's not going to wait for me to bring food to him. He's like, no, you guys, I know where y'all are. I'll find you out there in a minute, but for now I got to go eat. Good for me. But yeah, so I'm not really like scared in the sense that I'm going to like cry if there's a horse by me or anything. I mean, obviously I got on her back. If I was that terrified of something, do you think that I would ever even consider getting on her back? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Come on, Moo. I'll put a halter on you next and lead you around. I'm just playing. I did try to find a halter for Moo, but um, the biggest one they had in tractor supply was still about half the size that we needed. So I was never able to try to do anything with the halter with Moo. All right, Dixie. Well, I'm sorry. The good thing is, the good thing is, Dixie, is that you're a really good horse. And I think that you're a good horse for me to learn how to handle and to do things with and to brush. And I know you're going to enjoy it too. So I'm going to let you eat your breakfast and I'll come get you in a little bit. Bye, Dixie. All right. Everybody has eaten, is full, and ready to go. Oh, see, this is why we're going to get Dixie today. You can see she's itchy and stuff, so... I don't know if it's from flies or little bugs or what, but I'm going to get her and I, I can brush her and stuff and put that fly spray on her. And now she's filthy. She is filthy. 
Dixie, baby. Dixie, you're going to make this a lot harder on me. Oh, my gosh, girl. You're filthy. Why are you doing that? I'm about to take you up there and pamper you. Oh, you're just making sure I'm going to do a good job. Okay. Good girl, Dixie. Are you okay? My word. All right. You you feel better? You feel better? Come here. Come here. Goodness gracious, girl. What is going on? Why are you rolling around like that? You got you got something in your hair. You got something in your hair. All right then. Do you want me to get it out? Dixie. Dixie, baby, you got... Here, come here. Come here. You got something in your hair. Yeah, that's not supposed to be there. Okay, Dixie, we're about to get to work here. Before I even start doing any of this, I'm going to flip this camera around. And we're going to have a little talk. It is very obvious that I do not know a thing about horses, okay? So, before I even start, there is going to be probably a hundred things at least that I do wrong, okay? So, if you're gonna call me an idiot in the comments, at least teach me something. At least Rick, whenever he does his perspective on, a, on like a video that I make, at least if he calls me a stupid human, at least he starts teaching me the right way to do it. Don't just get on the comments and say, you don't know what you're doing. Yeah, I know, that's the obvious part, but teach me. Same thing, if I'm doing something out here for Lester, I'm doing a job, and I do it wrong, yeah, he's he's going to get on to me. But guess what? He's going to stop, and he's going to take the time to teach me the right way to do it. And then if I do it wrong again, yeah, then okay, that I deserve that, I guess. But all right, we had to get that out of the way. Here we go, Dixie. All right, first things first, Dixie. Look at me. I'm here. I'm letting you know. Okay, you want to sniff me or no? I guess I've already been standing here talking. You know I'm here. That's the obvious, but I'm just trying to make sure I cover all my bases, okay? I'm gonna walk around her and just kind of pet her a little bit and make sure she's good, make sure she's comfortable. This is the scary part for me, is walking behind her, but I did it. So the trick is whenever you walk behind her, you wanna stay as close to her, but as you can. That way, if they do kick, they're not gonna get all the power they can I'm sure it's probably still gonna hurt like a son of a gun, but won't hurt near as bad as them getting a full force kick on you. All right, so now she knows I'm here. I've loved on her. Don't say no, I sure did. I got this rope. This is the lead rope. All I'm gonna do is take this end and just kind of put it around her neck and just hold it. So I'm not there's no need to like tighten it she, she knows how to follow with the lead rope so i'm just gonna loop it around her neck and then we're gonna walk up to the front and then that's where i'm gonna groom her and stuff and this will be good too because she'll learn to trust me like where are we going you know she won't question it anymore she'll be like, okay when jake comes out to see me and he has this little rope it means that i'm gonna go get pampered and then i'm gonna probably get some treats at the end of it so i want her to relate me coming out here with a positive experience um i plan on putting a halter on her whenever we get up there and leading her around also but the thing is i'm, I'm not completely comfortable with the halter either so i'll just have to look at it and see how she's acting and see how comfortable she is before i even try that i think we're gonna be all right all right i'm gonna go ahead and get this camera propped up we're gonna get started you ready dixie here we go like that we should be good come on come on come on you're good Here, let me grab this in all right come with me there we go good girl good girl let me grab this okay all right dixie come on baby come on yeah there you go good girl good girl you're doing so good okay we're okay we're doing okay, Dixie, this is good. I wanna be on the other side of you, baby. Here, hold on, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm pulling back on your reins. 
Let me get this around your head a little bit. Okay, hold on right there, baby. I'm gonna slip over to this side. Okay. All right, come on. Come on. Good girl. Good girl. We're gonna swing out away from these horses a little. Okay, I guess I'll just walk on this side. This is the side you want me on? No? Well, sorry, but Rick says that I have to make the commands. You're not allowed to make the commands anymore because then you'll think that, you know, you're the high horse and I'm supposed to make it a point that, well, I'm the high horse. Well, I'm just a human, but you know what I mean. Well, be careful going down this hill. Okay. All right, let's get through the gate. We'll pick it back up at the house. Come on, baby. I think we're doing good. I think we're doing good. I think we're in some sort of little rhythm here. Yeah, you see you in there? You're beautiful. You're a beautiful lady. Let's go. We still got a long ways to go, but we are slowly but surely making it. Now, not a lot. I just, I'm so close, like her feet. I feel like her foot is gonna step on mine. And that's the part I don't like, but that's okay. I have this held to where I can drop it in case anything bad happens. But I think we both have a good amount of trust in each other right now. I think we're starting off on the right foot here. Now we had a little disagreement whenever I just thought that I was gonna, hey, where are you going? Ah, come on. <laughs> oh, what? There's, not, there's nothing over there. There's Billy. Oh, you see. Oh, wait, that's not Billy. That's Miracle. Come on. Come on, Dixie. Okay, she's frozen. I told y'all. Told y'all she was broken. There we go. She's fixed. We just had to... Well, Dixie, get going, girl. No. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. We're going this way. You're following me. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Come on, Dixie. You have to follow me. What are you stopping for? What am I supposed to do now? She heard me say something about being the high horse and she's like, ha, yeah, right. Okay, maybe I'll just wait it out. Or is that telling her that she's at the... All right, Dixie, we got to move. I think the right choice is to make you move. And I don't know why you're not doing that. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on, Dixie. Let's go. Dixie girl, come on. She's not moving. She is broken, for real. She's like, she's frozen. She is frozen. I think she's thinking, honestly. She might think that, you know, last time I went up in the, I went up there in the yard, um, this guy climbed on my back, and now we're at the point where she can actually see the house and see the barn up there and everything, and I think she's thinking, huh, no way, Jake, not today. Hey, baby, right, can you just follow me? I promise I got good stuff for you up there. We're going to do all kind of fun stuff. I promise you. See, your ears, your ears are listening, but you are not. Come on, let's go. Trust me. Trust me. Let's go. Come on. Come on, Dixie. You're frozen solid. Seriously. Come on. Will you follow me without the rope? Huh? Let's have a talk. What's the problem? Let me go get the brush and come out here to you. Are you not doing this today? Huh? You need a little bit more trust before you follow me all the way up there to the barn? Yeah? Okay. Well, I'll go get a brush and I'll show you. Now, we are prepping for a ride, okay? I am going to ride you. Okay, so you got to get ready for that. But today, I'll just start by showing you some trust. You did good. You walked a long way with me. You walked a long way. I'll go get your brush and I'll get you cleaned up. Unless you feel comfortable following me to the house. No? All right. I'll see you in a moment. You did so good. You did so good, Dixie. Yes, ma'am. Here, this is a brush. It's just a brush. I'm just going to brush you. Okay? Good girl. I think you're blocking the whole camera gonna knock it over please don't do that here i'm gonna move it back for us just a little bit okay i don't we don't want you to knock this over that would be a major problem here there we go that'll get your good side 
That'll show your good side. I'll come around this way and do this side first. I'll work my way around. It is so good. And I also have something in my pocket. Just for you. Yeah, you, you understood that, didn't you? You understood that? You are so good. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. That was scary. But I think I think I keep on touching her. Lester called it a tickle spot back here, and I don't think she likes it when I do that. So I'm gonna oh okay. I'm going to take this as a sign she does not want me to brush her because I think she turned back here to do a little nibble. Unless she thinks I'm getting on her. I don't know. These are questions that I need answered. So do I stop? Do I keep doing it to show her that I'm in charge? I don't know. We'll try again tomorrow. I got to figure out a way to practice some riding though. Get ready for all this. All right, I'm going to say that you got a, a C, but I think I'm grading myself because you're only reacting to things I do. I don't know, but here you go. I got you a treat. Wait, hold on. You're going to bite my fingers. There, you got it. Got it. Good girl. You want to go back with your friends? Come on. Come on, Dixie. Come on. Let's go back there with your friends. Look. Come on. I got more. Or do you want to stay up here? Come on. Let's go. Come on, Dixie. Come on. She's not coming. She's broken again. She's broken. It's okay. It's okay, Dixie. You can just you just hang out here for the day and I will um I'll leave these treats for you because you know we're going for positive reinforcement today, okay? Positive reinforcement. Here, you, you drop it. Do you want me to get it or you wanna get it? I'll get it. I'll get it. <laughs> I'll get it. You're gonna get my fingers. Hey, your lips are doing something so weird. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, that tickles. There's nothing there. Here, I got some more. I think I got two more. Uh, I guess you would count that as three. Okay, you good? You good? Trust. Trust. So I don't think that I've ever told the story of why I'm kind of wishy-washy about horses. So whenever I was little, probably around nine or 10 years old, Kim had this big red horse and his name was Blaze. I believe his name was Blaze, but uh, the horse stayed up here in Pop's pasture, you know, cause he had, you know, more room for the horse and Kim would come down and visit with it and everything, all that good stuff. But that horse, you know, Pop has a habit of leaving gates open and so that horse got out one day. Everyone's telling me to go out there and help. So I go out there and this horse is running and running and running. And keep in mind, this used to be a racehorse. So he's fast. Hold on, I'm gonna come over here to Carl to finish my story. So he's really fast. He's probably, he's probably faster than Carl. Okay, probably not, but he's still pretty fast. So this horse was running full speed and he had come around the back of my mom and dad's house. Carl, this is a good story if you'll just listen to it. So he comes around the back of it and you know, I break down like a football player. I'm like, oh, hoo, 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 you know, trying to stop him from getting around me. Well, the closer he got, I guess we both realized he wasn't stopping. <laughs> there was no way that he was gonna stop for me. So I tried to run over here to the left, you know, and I guess he tried to go to the left at the same time to go around me. Well, whenever I saw him going left, so I run back to the right to try to get out of the way. And next thing I know, me and him are right here. And I just, just cover up my head and he, boom, just straight head butted me. And I went flying across the backyard and whenever I opened my eyes, looking right up here, right up above me, was this barbed wire fence that I was inches away from flying through whenever that horse hit me. In the moment, I was not scared. I was not hurt, nothing, you know, nothing like that. Whenever I stood up and seen it again up here in my head, that's when I got scared. That's whenever it hit me that, dang, these things are really big and they're really fast and they're really strong. And I don't really know how to handle them or control them. So since then, 
back whenever I was little, obviously I didn't say, well, let me learn about that and get over my fear. Nope, I stayed scared for the next 17 years and I decided to start learning about horses, well, I don't know, like two days ago. So here we are. Anyways, I, um, I'm gonna jump back over to Dixie. I'm gonna tell y'all one thing and we're getting out of here. Bye guys, have a great day.